Hello everyone, let's go ahead and run through the spiel. This will not include legendaries. You don't know why? Because they're gonna get their own video eventually. Secondly, if you disagree with anything on this list, no, I'm just kidding. That's okay, this is my list. But I would like to know yours as well. But mine's more important. Not really. Let's get started. Standing at 4 foot 11 inches and weighing in at 109.8 pounds, Hitmon Lee. Out of the entire Hitmon family, Lee is not my favorite. That's called foreshadowing. Maybe. Stay tuned. Now, Hitmon Lee, that's an ugly motherfucker, alright? I don't never exactly knew what he was. All I knew is that his legs looked really weird and that his face also looked really weird. And he had really short dinosaur-like hands, arms. Yeah. And that, and the Pokédex tells me that his heels are as hard as diamonds. I'm as hard as diamonds right now. That wasn't a very good joke. Let's move on. It's time to put my money where Hitmonlee's mouth isn't. Like most fighting types, he's mostly he's he's not a special attacker. He's a physical attacker. He has good attack stats. And also, did I mention he looks weird? I did. Okay, I love the first generation of Pokemon. And I always, and I always, you know, found a certain weird aura thing about Hitmonlee. But I associated that with a lot of Pokemon as a kid. Everything's so fantastical. Anyways, I always wanted one. I love the Hitmon Pokemon. I loved Hitmonlee. The kicking type Pokemon. That's what he is. He's the kicking type. He, he lives to fucking kick. Alright? The only thing that I wish Hitmonlee had was an evolution. I usually don't like to catch or use Pokemon that don't have evolutions. Like, what the fuck's to look forward to? So, I mean, I would always use it sparingly or in spurts or whatever, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I absolutely love Hitmonlee. And that's... Those are, those are the reasons. Moving on. Standing at four foot 11 inches and weighing in at 155, Machoke. Yes, okay, Machamp would clearly be a better battle Pokemon. He's the final evolution. But I never liked evolving my Machoke because, well, although Machamp's a better battler, he's terrible with women. Gross. He has four arms. I don't like that. And, um, I can't imagine why anyone would. Anyways, I like Machoke mostly because if you were to ask Machoke, do you even lift, bro? Yeah, that's where this joke is going. He replies, Machamp. Huh? I gotcha, you didn't expect that, did you? You probably did. <laughs> Now, throughout my years of being a complete Pokemon legend, yes, my name is known amongst, you know, a few people who know. Um, I, I would often have a Machoke, and I would never evolve. I've never evolved a Machoke for the sake of battle. I have for the sake of completing a Pokedex, but then I just stuck that ugly motherfucker in the PC and forgot about it but used my Machoke that I trained to battle in my team. That's a true thing. I'm telling you a true fucking story right now, and you better goddamn appreciate it. Stat-wise, meh, meh. It's mostly in par with most fighting types. Nothing special, but this is mostly, mostly tied to my, uh, you know. I use this word a lot with nostalgia. Is that all right? Moving on? All right. Weighing in at 110 pounds and standing 4 foot 7 inches, Hitmonchan. You remember earlier whenever I alluded to the uh, Hitmon family and I said that Hitmonlee wasn't my favorite of that? Well, this is where the joke comes full circle. Because I love Hitmonchan. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's called a callback joke. And reference. First off guys, I swear to fuck, I thought Hitmonchan was a female, because I thought, dude, I'm serious, listen to me, I thought that that was a skirt, <laughs> but I recently read that they're 100% male, they're no, there's, there's not a single female one, 
promise you. I thought that motherfucker was a woman. As a counterpart to Hitmonlee, the uglier of the family, Hitmonchan's the punching type Pokemon. Hitmonlee was the kicking. He lives to kick, Hitmonchan lives to punch. And that's awesome. He's also really versatile. All the different, you know, elemental type punches it can do. And plus, I don't know, it just, in the anime, Hitmonchan was pretty fucking awesome. Basically, I read through his Pokédex entries, and basically all they tell me is like he's really fucking good at punching. Mostly, it stands in par with most fighting types and stats. But it has really good special defense, which is different. Moving on. Weighing in at 299 pounds, and standing at 6 foot 4, Pandora, hailing from the Kalos region. First 6th generation on here. I think Pangoro's awesome, I'm gonna be honest. A bipedal, big ass motherfucker. He's a panda. Alright, a terrifying <laughs> With the little leaf thing image. Pokedex tells me that uh, he's very, uh, he's a violent and angry motherfucker, but he does not stand for bullying. Watch out. <laughs> also, the Pokedex tells me that um, he's a daunting type Pokemon. And daunting means, for those of you who don't know, hard to deal with. So not only is he violent and also nice, he's kind of fucking irritating. So don't let him crash on your couch until he gets on his feet. Because it's likely he's going to be there for like 10 months. Eventually it's just going to reach, you know, a clash and you're going to be like, Dude, you're going to have to get up and find a Pokemon job. A Poke job. Not some of those other kind of jobs you might be thinking of. Of the sexual variety. Not those. I mean, if that would get him off the fucking couch, then that would be fine. And I'm... Why? Why? What? How did this happen? How did I start talking about this? Where did this tangent begin? I want to mention his stats, but they're really, like... It's really kind of the same thing as all the other fighting types. I mean, I should stop bringing up stats. Listen, I, he's probably one of my favorite of the sixth generation. I saw him in the anime, too. I don't know. The, the newest anime... The, the X and Y anime was good. I, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, Pangoro is one of my favorite of the sixth generation. It was a small generation, so that to me made favorites hard to pick. That says something. He's awesome. He's really awesome. Weighing in at 70.5 pounds and standing at 3 foot 3 inches, Primate. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And also I've just googled Pig Monkey because that's what Primate is, and luckily that's not a real thing. Oh, can you imagine, though? There was there were some fake Google images, but I hope those aren't real. Okay, I'll admit, Primate and my affinity for Primate has absolutely nothing to do with probably what it should, which would be stats and its, you know, versatility in battle, which actually is really good. It's really good stats. Thank fuck. Anyways, no, it has all to do with, I think what spawned my favoritism is Ash's primate from uh, the anime. And uh, I don't know, it's just like, he was actually a pretty dynamic character for a kid's show. On one hand, he's not like his typical angry, you know, rebellious self, but he always, he develops somewhat of a soft spot. And I don't know, I just love fighting types. And there's just something about the whole melee attacking skills and the character of primate and the design of primate. I don't know, that's just, he's one of my favorites. And also, it has some of the most hilarious Pokédex entries. I'm not gonna memorize that shit, so I'm just gonna read them from the computer. When approached while asleep, it may, it may awaken and angrily give chase in a groggy state of semi-sleep. Always furious and tenacious to boot. It will not abandon chasing its quarry until it is caught. It will never give you up or let you down. It will never, you know... You just got rickrolled, motherfuckers. That's what this whole video is about. Roll the clip. It will beat up anyone, anyone who makes it mad. <laughs> Even if it has to chase them until the end of the fucking world. Goddamn. So there you have it. My top five favorite fighting types. I hope you appreciated them. I and mean, if you didn't, at least you still watched. What are your top five favorites? Yeah, hit up that motherfucking comment section. Not that way, this way. It's most likely going to be down there. 
Unless you're on full screen, <laughs> and then you're going to have to press escape to uh, get back to it. Until next time, thank you for watching.